Now the next thing I want to talk about is Leopard 10.5.2. Now this is uh, Leopard 10.5.2 that I'm running. And one of the things I always hated uh, about the previous Leopard was the transparent dock up here. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it. And what you can see is that it makes it a little hard to read these things because you can kind of see th through the background here. And there's a way to turn that off. Now, in fact, they improved it. In fact, you don't notice what's behind these menus. It used to be you'd see part of this picture behind the menu, but you don't anymore. But you still see it up here, but there's now a way to turn that off. If you go to your system preferences and you click on desktop and screensaver, it gives you an option down here to have the translucent menu bar or to turn it off. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and turn it off and watch what happens up here if you can. I'll zoom in and show you. I turn it off and now it's just the text over kind of a gray background. It's not as good a contrast as if it was white, but it's still fairly decent. So I think this is one of the complaints I had about it. It made it hard to see. The menus are easier to read now because it is black text over white and the background, whatever my desktop picture, isn't going to throw things off by, you know, having some, you know, a lot of us have a lot of different pictures we want for our desktop picture, and sometimes that interferes, okay? So that's kind of nice, I think. The other big thing that they changed was, let me just pull up the dock a little bigger so you can see. Before, when I had like an applications folder, remember I complained about this, where you had the icon would be whatever was, you know, first alphabetically in your folder? Well, now, if you right-click on this, you can change it instead of the stack, you can display it let me zoom in so you can make sure you can see that. I can say display as a folder. So right now it's as a stack. I choose folder. Boom, now it shows the applications folder. Now it's easy for me to see. That's my downloads folder. That's my applications folder. By viewing as a folder, this makes it a lot easier to tell which folder is which over there amongst all these little mini icons that you've got down in there. It's got that standard applications folder. And if I change, uh, create a folder with its own special icon, it'll show up down there, not in this sort of stack format. The other great thing, if you might have noticed, if I right click again, is I can come up here to uh, view it. Right now it does it as a fan. I'll show you how that looks. When I click, it does this little fan thing, which I kind of hate a little bit. And then you click on here, this little arrow, and you can actually get the full window where you can take a look at you know, what's inside that folder. But I can right click on this and say, we had the grid. That was another option we had before. And that's where it did this. But now I can say, list. And this is the one I loved and I hated when this disappeared when Leopard came out. But now when I click on it, it gives me the menu. It gives me like a menu of all the applications and I can scroll through and choose the ones I want. I can go and decide, you know, Macrometer, Dreamweaver 8, and then launch Dreamweaver. I don't have to launch a folder and then go into the Dreamweaver folder and do it. This is so much faster to be able to scroll through what I want. And uh, if you click the letter, it'll take you automatically to here, like utilities, I had typed in a U. And if I want to get to the beginning of everything, I can just type in A, and it takes me to the A's at the beginning here, the Adobe software. So that's a great way to, for you to quickly get through that list as well. I am so thankful they brought this back. Some of the improvements that they've made here are outstanding. Um, it's also a bit more stable, I think. I think Leopard is ready to go. Before I had some reservations about recommending it to people, I think now's a good time to upgrade. I think 10.52 finally fixed a lot of the problems. Uh, that would create you know, the, the interface type of issues that you might have. And it still has some of these great features here, where if I come in here, about well, Leopard is great. You know, if I have a file here, I can hit space, and it gives me a nice preview of whatever it is. And in this case, it's an audio file. Hey, I promise as president that I will improve technology. Okay. And then if you come down here, uh, also with pictures, you know, you can kind of pop. Click. It's just a quick view without having to go launch a whole, you know, program like Photoshop or iPhoto in order to get to your photos. You can find them really quickly this way.